Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again. Today I'm tying a simple sculpting for you. Nice easy streamer, smaller than is maybe fashionable for a lot of a lot of flies now, but still an effective little pattern worth having in your box if you fish anywhere with those gobies, sculpins, millers, thumbs, any of these um small bait fish. So uh, I've got a size two streamer hook. Um this is a Vaviras sorry, Varivas. Um 2500V SE, straight eyed, decent hook, heavy, heavy wire, strong, um, and I've already crushed the barb on it. So I'm going to run on a base of thread, now I'll leave a bit of a space here just as a guide, like just about the you know the 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 length of the narrowest part of the sculpting helmet that we'll be using, so that I've got a rough mark for later um, as to where the the to sort of start thinking about stopping my dressing. Um, I like to just put a short tail in this, so. I'll run my thread right back to about in line away where the barb would normally start. I'm gonna to turn the two back. There we go. And I'll just take a small pinch of uh, olive marabou from a extra select quill. I much prefer this to using like the woolly bugger stuff. You get more, you get more mobility in the tail. And As I guide, I want roughly a shank length. And then... Trim that. The length of... The length of the body. Just tidy it up. Then... The body hackle is some um, olive saddle hackle, grizzly olive. I'm just looking for a, sort of a big one from my pack. And I want something that's fairly webby. Um, So this is it's quite long, it's almost like slapping when it gets to the bottom here, but up the top it's still a wee bit spikier. And I'll prepare the hackle just by sort of sweeping the fibres back to expose the tip. I'm just going to tie this in by the tip and tidy up again. Then I'm going to make a dubbing loop, so I'm going to make it quite long, you know, six inches or so, which is longer than you need, but I like to have plenty of working room. So to make the dubbing loop, take the fly, the the thread round, hook it around your finger, measure it out to the length that you want, trap that thread going back, and then make a couple of wraps around the loop. You can see that there. Pull it up and that closes and tightens the loop at the top and then a couple of lock and turns. Then I'll take my thread up and I'm stopping short. There's the end of my thread where the back of the helmet's going to be and I want this to stop here. Right, so I'm leaving myself a wee bit of room because there's going to be another another part of this. Oops, watch that doesn't it? To stop that um, tangling up you can just put your Dub and spinner in the loop, and that will that will stop it uh, 
or tangling up with your bobbin. I'm going to take some pheasant tail coloured ice stub. Reasonable amount, you don't need a huge bunch, but a fair size, a fair size uh, wad. And then I'm just going to start putting this into the, the loop. And you want it to be getting thicker towards the head end. And then just spin the dub and twister. Spin it really nice and tight until you've got a good rope. And then just wind. You can just use it if you've not got a rope to the device, you'll just have to wind it uh, like a hackle. Just get that started and wind it forward and touch and turns and just sort of position it as you like and you can see them thickening up as I go forward sort of trying to keep it as much in the way that I I mean that's the way that these bull heads you know that they're sort of wedge shaped and then cross your thread over the loop Always take the tag end back, doubled it over, <coughs> and tied it down just for security. I always do that with a double loop. And then take your hackle, wind it forward. I like this to be reasonably heavy. You know, you would normally only have like four or five turns in a part in a sort of palmered fly, but over this length, but I like to go a wee bit more. Try to get into the webby fibres as you come to the head end. Uh, then I'll actually put two or three turns in front. Even if you're coming into the sort of marabou fluff, that's nice. It's all movement. And then trim your piece and anything that's going forward just take it back and then I'll make another dub and loop same again make the loop tie back two wraps around the thread pull it up and then pull it back tie everything down so it's nice and tight and um, this sort of to help Im um, imitate the pectoral fins of these sculpins they tend to be quite big up towards the head area. I'm using just some rabbit fur from a zonka. And I'm using just this a medium olive. It's a bit lighter than the, the, the zonka strip that's going to go across the back. And just... Gently just make sure you've not got too much by the way of butt ends sticking out. Same again, spin it. And eventually it will just start to go. And I like this to be nice and tight. So that you don't lose, you know you're never going to lose any. I'll wind this, then I'll just get it started, and then I will wind this by hand, uh, so that I can sort of sweep the fibres back. And don't worry if you look if you're sort of flattening them; it's, that's not a huge problem because you you can pick it out. I mean, everything's going to get a really good rub with Velcro and a wee um, once it's finished just to uh, sort of rough up that 
dubbed body and things anyway, so you will tie that off and then tie back over the top of it, right? And I didn't double that because I still had rabbit in the loop, but what you can do is you can actually tie back over the wraps, right? Which uh, does the same job as folding it back, but you don't get that extra bulk that you would get if you folded a full, a full loop back the way. So, and then just come in with your dubbing needle. And tease out any trapped fibres. Right. At this stage, I'm going to throw a half hitch in. get myself some uh, barbed zonka olive a dark olive barbed black and I want a shank length behind so I'll just mark that there and then just use your hook point Get it roughly in the middle, put it on, take the hook out of the vise, just pull, pull that around the bend until it's nice and snug, put the hook back in, and then Sweep all the fibres that are above, or in the hook gap side, which will be the top of the fly, sweep them down into the side. Again, that helps to add the, the sort of width. And pull this nice and tight on one, one, one turn just to catch it. No. Three will, three will hold it, trim it nice and close, and then just tidy this up. And it doesn't need to be too perfect because you're going to cover everything with a fish skull or a sculpting helmet. And then just throw in a whip finish. This. Let's try this, make sure it's, it fits. That's, that's not bad. I'll right. we'll just build the thread up a wee bit more. Just to make it a bit more snug. Finish and shoot my fingers. And trim away the thread. <coughs> Gotta get some gel type super glue here. Don't be shy with this. But stick it at the front. Uh, you don't want it to be on your, you don't want to get it on your uh, the rabbit fur. And then just position this. And to get that scope and help it pushed back tight. Get it sticks on nice and And there you have it. Um, 
in the instructions for the fish skulls and all that, they tell you to put a dam of thread in front, but I've n I never do that. I found that the super glue is plenty. Um, what I actually do as well, just to help protect the eyes and stuff, I'll take a coat of head cement and flood that wee gap and cover all this. And I've never had them come free. And even if they do, they're just on your leader. You know, it's not the end of the it's not the end of the world. But there you have it. A nice uh, a nice sample sculpting. Easy, dead quick. I mean you can tie them much quicker if you're not um explaining everything. Uh probably about a five or six minute tie really. Um you can Okay. Got a bit of a velcro. Just tease out some of that sparkle. You don't. I mean, you don't want. I don't like excessive flash in a sculpting, um, because they're little matte camouflaged fish. You know, they're no um, flashy. They're no silver. And there you have it. That's it. Simple, effective. Uh, again, smaller than smaller than maybe the sort of current trend with some of these big articulated streamers, but it will still catch you some. It will still catch you some good trout, especially if you're fishing water that doesn't have maybe some of these. You know, you don't have twenty six inch, twenty seven inch trout, but you might have eighteen. That you know, the biggest fish might be eighteen inches. We stream like this. Give it a try, I hope you catch some fish in it, I hope it's useful to you. And thanks very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up below for more HD fly tying videos. Thanks very much guys, bye.